Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back, students. So, today we are going to start our triangles and their types. Okay, so I have already told you about the triangle that is, it is a three sided closed figure in which we are having three sides, three angles, three vertices, and there is a property of triangle that is the sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degrees. There is also a side. Um, property side wise property but that you don't need to know right now okay so now we will study about the types of triangle on the basis of side okay so the triangles are of the following three types first one is the scalene then we have the isosceles and then the equilateral so a scalene triangle is that type of triangle in which no two sides are equal that means all the three sides they are having different lengths different values then if you talk about isosceles so it is that triangle in which two sides will be equal and for equilateral all the sides will be equal and the equilateral triangle the angles are also equal and that is 60 degrees each so uh, equilateral triangle is also known as a equiangular triangle okay now on the basis of angle triangle is also of the following three types first one is acute angled and for acute angle the all the angles are acute that means all the angles have values less than 90 degrees and for right angle triangle one angle is right and the other two are acute okay and for obtuse the first one angle is obtuse that is more than 90 and the other two are acute so here you can write one angle is 90 rest two are acute similarly like here rest two are acute okay now we will study about the classification we have to classify the triangles on the basis of scalene isosceles and equilateral so if we say about the first one see all the lengths are different we don't need to draw a diagram a triangle for this we can just from these values we can um, figure out so all the three sides are different so it is a scalene this one is an isosceles it is an equilateral so you can do the next three as well now for the second one we have to see whether it is an acute right or obtuse see all the angles are less than 90 it is an acute angled it is a right angled as one angle is 90 it is an obtuse angled right okay then this is question number three and in this case what we have to do we have to write both these properties in one like we have see this is a 90 degree uh, angle that means it will be a right angle so we will write right angled okay one property is done and see all the three sides are different so it will be scalene similarly here we can write obtuse angled and scalene as all the three sides are different for this we can write equilateral uh, acute angled and equilateral right and for this we can write acute uh, it will be isosceles because two sides are equal and isosceles triangle and okay just like this here you can write obtuse angled and scalene okay now for the question number four we have to give an example of each of the following figure see a scalene triangle we have to see which is a scalene so it will be that means all the three sides should be different triangle a f e it will be a scalene then a acute angle acute angle will be this triangle a b f then a right angle it will be triangle b c g okay then the obtuse angle it will be an obtuse angle so it will be triangle a f e and what about an isosceles triangle the isosceles triangle will be this b c g because see this is three that means this also will be three so these two are three and it will be more than three so it will be an isosceles triangle now the next question is use the magnitudes so we uh, see two angles are given and i have to find out the third one so what i'll do as i know that the sum is 180 so i'll just add them and then subtract from 180 like 70 plus 60 is 130 and 180 minus 130 is 50 so it will be 50 degrees similarly this is 100 so it will be 80 degrees this is 120 it will be 60 degrees okay now the question number six is the angles of abc are in the ratio of angle L1 is to 2 is to 3 so we have to find the values of these angles right so what i'll do in this case I'll just write it angle A B let angle A B X angle B B 2 X angle C B 3 X so why this X 2 X 3 X because the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3 that means X 2 X 3 X and we know that angle sum property jo hai, that is angle 
some property right that is angle a plus angle b plus angle c that is 180 degrees that means all this x plus 2x plus 3x is 180 so that means 6x is 180 right so x will be 180 by 6 that is 30 degrees so from this angle a will be 30 angle b will be 2 into 30 that is 60 degrees and angle c will be 3 into 30 that is 90 degrees okay now this is triangle yeah this is a triangle pqr is a right angled triangle where is a triangle p q r okay right angled at r yes okay then find the magnitude of angle prs where is this prs angle p r s angle q r s and angle r p s c if we talk about angle p r s that will be 90 okay so we can easily just see it as it's already being said that is 90 degrees and this is 35 so this is 35 this is 90 we can easily find out this by this angle sum property okay so that's all for today